Hi everyone and welcome to Colchester Zoo. My name's Hannah and I'm a carnivore keeper here at the zoo. And to help celebrate World Otter Day, I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the otters that we have living here at the zoo. So we actually have two species of otter. We have our smooth coated otters and then we have our Asian short clawed otters whose enclosure I'm just standing in front of at the moment. So we actually have a family group of otters here. So we have mum and dad, uh, Ravi and Summer, and then their babies, Rosie, River, Sally and Sprout, who were born in 2020, and then Robin and Rupert, who were born in 2021. Now this is quite similar to how Asian short clawed otters would live out in the wild. You quite often have um, older litters helping to rear younger ones. So here at the zoo, we feed these guys a couple of different types of fish, crustaceans and shellfish. Um, and we try to make sure that it's as interesting and enriching for them as possible. Um, so we put things like the crustaceans and the shellfish in whole, so they have to work out how to get to all the tasty stuff inside and crack them open. And then we'll hide them in different sorts of enrichment, um, so the otters have to work out how to try and get to their food. So these guys are Asian short clawed otters uh, and in the wild you'd find them across Southeast Asia, uh, mainly in areas with shallow water, so areas like estuaries, swamps and wetlands because they prefer to hunt in shallow water. They have lots of different adaptations that help them to survive successfully out in the wild. So if you have a look at their feet, you'll notice they have only kind of slightly webbed feet on their front feet um, and shorter claws. This allows them to sort of probe through mud um, and under rocks and stones to find their prey. Um, and in the wild that would be things like fish, frogs, uh, snakes, snails and crabs as well. In terms of their conservation, these guys are currently classed as vulnerable in the wild. There's lots of different threats that's affecting them, but to just mention a couple, um, a lot of their habitat is being destroyed to make way for things like coffee and tea plantations. And they are also hunted for their fur and for the pet trade as well, which is why it's really important to have um, a viable population of otters in captivity, uh, just in case we had to re-release. Um, but it's, right, it's really nice to have them here at the zoo. Uh, and make sure you stop by and say hi next time you're here.